Carmelo Alvarez, the WBA and WBC middleweight champion of the world, will attempt to win a world title in a third weight class here in Madison Square Garden when he faces WBA super middleweight champion Rocky Fielding from Liverpool, England. The fight will take place Saturday, December 15th, once again here at Madison Square Garden. This will be the first time that Canelo will fight at MSG here in New York City. And this will also be the U.S. debut for Rocky Fielding and his first defense of the WBA super middleweight title. And how do you watch the event? Well, it will stream on DAZN. With this a WBA super middleweight champion of the world, Rocky Fielding, welcome. You're in New York City. Uh, tell me what your feelings about fighting at Madison Square Garden. I'm very excited and I'm, I'm uh, over the moon and I'm privileged to be fighting there. It's a, it's a dream come true. Um, every fighter Every fighter's dream is to, to fight at Madison Square Garden, and I've got the chance to fight there. It, it's unbelievable. Well, you're not only fighting at Madison Square Garden, you're fighting Canelo, who is maybe one of the best fighters of our uh, time right now. Now, he's a counter puncher, and he goes to the body a lot. Uh, what's your plan of, of, of defense and attack for, for a man like this? Uh, I'll have to do a lot of sit ups, make sure my stomach's at him. Is, is strong but yeah I know I know I'm much of a of a leaf fighter and um, how good Canelo is I've watched him over the years I, I'm you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie he's a, I beat, I'm a fan you know what I mean I've watched him I study him and um, now I'm fighting him but yeah he's an all round elite fighter he can do everything you know he does everything well right um, you know he doesn't make much mistakes but um, it's it's my it's my time um, to, to make him make some mistakes and and, let me, and me to capitalize on it and and do what I do and use the advantage what I've got to win. Mistakes, that's that's a big word in, in sports. Usually the team that makes the li the least mistakes uh, wins. Yeah. Now now tell me, um, did you watch his last fight with GGG and what were your thoughts on? Yeah, it? I, 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 to be honest, I watch I watch bits of it. And, um, yeah, the bits that I did see, he. He, he looked good, Canelo. Do you know what I mean? He, you know, he he stood his ground a bit more than the first fight. He, he counted well. He slipped and slided well. Um, he put he put it on him. Triple G. Uh, I thought it was a close fight, and I did think Canelo nicked, nipped it. Um, you know, I'll have to watch it back now, next few weeks, and study it a bit more as as fighting him, not as a fan. Now, let me ask you, you know, you might have the advantage here. You're already at 168, and um, he's coming up coming up on weight. I mean, what advantage do you feel that you have over him? Well, that's it. You know, and you are much taller. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, as you say, it's a challenge for him to step up for the, for the main pounds, and it's a big challenge for me to fight a elite fighter. So I've got advantages, advantages um, you know, the height. I carry the weight well. I'm heavy-handed. Um, I'm coming down to the weight, I make it comfortable. I've been at that weight um, so many fights, so many years, and as you say, he's stepping up. So it, it's interesting all around. Everyone's interested to see how he's going to perform at, at the weight above. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll use everything what I can do to, to win. Do you walk around at 168, or will you be needing to lose some uh, weight during this camp here? Yeah, yeah, no, I don't. I, I, no, I think. I think it's only Floyd Mayweather that walks around on his weight. Do you know what I mean? I think every fighter, you know, walks around at a comfortable weight. Um, yeah, I love weight to lose, but I, I make it comfortable. I get strong. Uh, my strength increases, and um, I, as I say, yeah, I make the weight comfortable and we'll be, be ready for the night. Hey, and talk about the zone. The zone. That is the new way streaming video. Huh? Oh yeah, it's brilliant for boxing. Um, I know, and this fight's free on the zone. I think so. Um, they're, they're taking over boxing. Um, you know, these some fights that are that are getting made now are on there. They're unbelievable, and you know, I can see the future being bright for them. Well, today we heard you were down ringing the bell at uh, on Wall Street. What do you think of Wall Street? Uh, it's unbelievable. It's an experience. Um, it'd be something I'll never forget, and um, it was great. It was something different, and you know, I 
I got a text off a friend just telling me how like the list of people that have rang the bell. And then you got me, a, a guy from Liverpool who yeah, just turns up and rings the bell. It is unbelievable. Well, say a shout out to your fans. Yeah, um, thanks for everyone that's supporting. And, um, I appreciate it. Um, I'm, you know, I'm getting some good good feedback on social media and stuff and good support coming over. So I appreciate it all and I thank everyone. Are you going to go back over to London and train or are you going to train over here? What, 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 what or I'm Liverpool? Back, or? Yeah, back home, back home in Manchester. Yeah, I'm Manchester? Stay, yeah, I'm from Liverpool but I'm staying in Manchester. Um, we've got a good team there. We've um, got a couple of guys in big fights after, uh, the week after me so we're all going to be training together. Um, you know, I, I, I won't be going like away and I'll come over here like 10 days before the fight and um, get used to the time difference and things like that. So I'll have it all planned out, but um, I'm looking forward to it. Did you ever run into AJ over there? No, I, no, I, you know, maybe at some shows you, you bump into him, but um, I you know, go to a couple of the fights, I go to his fights. I'm a big boxer fan as well, so I go to shows, but um, I, you know, I haven't seen him much. But if it did, it would only be at the shows. He's, he's, he's a big star, and he's so right. you get hounded if he goes to any boxing shows. Is your family coming over, and are a lot of fans, you know, this could be the time to come to New York. Oh, yeah, and everybody yeah. wants to come to New York, right? Yeah, yeah I've, got, um, I've got a lot coming over. Um, a lot of my family, yeah, friends, you know, I've got like maybe a, a thousand or so coming over, which is unbelievable. Um, and you get to experience New York, yeah, I'm bringing me, me, me two babies over as well. and um, It's going to be a great experience and a great journey for everyone. You have children? Yeah, i got a two, two-year-old two and a five-week-old. So, oh, a new baby. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> it's going to be, um, it's going to be a, a, a great ride and a great journey for us all as oh. a family. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you and good luck. Yeah, thank you. Thank Peace you. Out. Now I want to welcome to the stage to introduce his team, one of the most important promoters in the world of boxing today, Mr. Eddie Hearn. Eddie? Thank you, Eric, and uh, welcome to everyone here today. Um, just a quick few thank yous, of course. Thank you to Takate and to MSG. Uh, we'll actually be in here uh, in about 10 days here, time for Danny Jacobs against Derevchenko uh, for the middleweight world title, and congratulations on the pre-sale ticket numbers. Rocky's always been a big ticket seller, so you can thank him for that, certainly. Um, thank you as well to Sky Sports, our UK partner, who will be showing this fight live. And congratulations as well to our partners, DAZN and Golden Boy Promotions and Boxing for a wonderful deal with Canelo Alvarez on DAZN. You know, we joined up with DAZN, who are our biggest global boxing partners, a few months ago. And when we give you our commitment, we give you our heart, we give you our blood. And we had a mission to make sure that the DAZN platform would work and be a success. As always in boxing, there were the naysayers, they were the doubters, there were the people that were trying to, you know, poo-poo this project. Would we get the big stars? We launched the platform with Anthony Joshua, the unified heavyweight champion of the world, the first show being live on DAZN. And now, through Golden Boy and DAZN, they bring Canelo Sal Alvarez to the DAZN platform as well. This is a game changer for the sport of boxing, for the landscape of the boxing, and the way that boxing fans digest content. You have a huge price point for pay-per-view in this country, and the great news for fight fans is things are about to change. And now with the likes of Anthony Joshua and Canelo on the zone, the whole game is about to change. And congratulations to you guys for making this deal. Um, when we met in LA last week, not only did we have a great stake, but we both shared our passion for changing boxing and providing great content and price point for boxing fans in the US. And we have another huge show this Saturday in Boston, and this is just the beginning for the DAZN platform, trust me. On to this fight, and it's a wonderful opportunity for Rocky Fielding. He did his own thing, he always kept patient. He traveled to Germany to win the WBA Super Middleweight Championship of the World. He's always boxed everyone that's been put in front of him. And this is a golden opportunity for him. He comes into the ring as a defending champion, but he's also blessed with an opportunity to box at one of the most special venues, not just in boxing, but in sporting arenas across the world, and to fight an all-time great pound-for-pound -pound fighter 
like Canelo Alvarez. For those that don't know about Rocky Fielding, you don't have to worry about him turning up on December 15th. You don't have to worry about him trying to win this fight. You don't have to worry about him not giving 110%, not giving his heart and soul to defend that title that he proudly won in Germany just a few months ago. So, you see the size difference? They both have big hearts, but I promise you this young man from Liverpool will do everything he can to defend his world title successfully on December 15th at Madison Square Gardens. And we just hope, and John, I hope you can confirm that once Rocky beats uh, Canelo, that he takes the other 10 fights on that huge DAZN deal. Uh, and I think you'll agree that's fair enough. So, um, firstly, I'm going to bring up the team. Okay, it was just a little British humour. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, Rocky's now part of a fantastic training team uh, back home in the UK. You know, the likes of Tommy Coyle boxing on the zone this Saturday. Carl Frampton, I believe, is here, former world super bantamweight champion. He's big in Mexico as well. Um, and a whole host of other great fighters. And this trainer has really put that belief in, in Rocky and with Nigel down there as well, a great team and Jim in the UK that have taken him to the World Championship. And before we bring up the WBA Super Middleweight Champion of the World, I want to introduce a former great fighter himself to say a few words, Jamie Moore. Thanks, Ada. Um, yeah, thanks for having us. We're uh, privileged to be in such an um, arena, the mecca of boxing, Madison Square Garden. Um, and the opportunity to, to share a ring with, with a great fighter like Can Canelo Alvarez. Um, you know, we're under no illusions that this is a tough ask. Uh, it's a big job on our hands, but I believe I've got the, 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 the right sort of fighter in, in my hands in Rocky Fielding. Who's, um, he's got massive self-belief. Um, he's got a lot of attributes which we believe will cause Canelo Alvarez problems. And there's a lot of questions what need to be asked from Canelo's point of view. You know, he's never boxed that super middleweight. He's never fought somebody who's the size of Rocky Fielding and who's, who's got the awkwardness of Rocky. So, um, so you know, Rocky's been on a, a long path. He's had a few little setbacks along the way, but all those moments have took him to this point in time. And, and I believe that him winning the world title in Germany has given him confidence and it's given that springboard and platform to come onto this stage today. So I'm proud of him. Um, I'm proud of all the lads in the gym. We've got, we've got a great camp at the minute. And um, he just seems to be going from strength to strength. And I believe that 15th of December, we're going to get the biggest win that the gym's ever had. Thank you, Jamie. And uh, of course, to hear from the main man now, um, boxing takes you to some extraordinary places. And to see Rocky Fielding, uh, pressing the bell and opening the New York Stock Exchange this morning was something that I think his mum and dad would never have expected him to see. And it's great to see him on this stage, great to see him in these kind of environments as a world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the current WBA super middleweight champion of the world from Liverpool, Rocky Fielding. Thanks for having me. Um, thanks to Matt Room and Eddie. Yeah, Golden Boy Promotions and the team, Canelo, for the opportunity. Yeah, yeah like Eddie said, I, I fought a few months back, July. Um, you know, big ask to me to go over to Germany to win a world title. Everyone ripped me off, no one gave me a chance. Um, I went there believing I could do it. Um, I got the win, uh, it took five rounds, um, and I was happy. So I've worked so hard all my life um, to, get, to get to the world stage. I've won that. Um, now I'm fighting, you know, the biggest, the biggest name, the biggest star in boxing um, at Madison Square Garden. It's every fighter's dream to to fight at Madison Square Garden, um, you know. And I'm and I'm here. Yeah, I've worked so hard all my life for it, and um, I'm coming here. I'm stripping everything away. The the big hype, you know, the big the big Madison Square Garden. I know our, our elite fighter Canelo is. Um, I respect him. I've, I've watched him over the years, um, his career. So I just take that away, and I'm going in there to win. I'm coming as a world champion um, to defend the title, and um, I'm going to give everything, everything in training camp, and everything in the fight. So you know, expect a good fight, and I, I'm coming to win. Thank you. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Madison Square Garden. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the fights.